Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Well, happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend. We're right around the corner. One day left. I'm really excited, of course, as I am each and every day on this show. But you wouldn't believe the spread in front of me right now. And I'm not going to lie. I did not have a big lunch. I'm absolutely starving now. And I may dig it. Well, we'll see. I'll have to ask permission. I am joined by Emily Carr. She is the owner of The Family Table. Welcome, Emily. Great Thank to you. have you here. Thank you. Uh, before we get to this beautiful spread and do a little show and tell, uh, tell me a little bit about your, your background. Because you and I were just talking off camera. You were not always in the culinary arts, were I you? I wasn't. No, I, uh, I worked at Algonquin College for 13 years before this um, as a budget officer. And uh, just before the pandemic, I decided to pursue a meal prep business, but then the pandemic hit. I have young kids, so I stayed home with them for a little bit, okay. and then uh, launched this in 2021. So we're just come. We just had our second year anniversary. Congratulations! Thank you. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. So what? I mean, you obviously love cooking. Where, where did that passion come from in your life? I've always loved cooking. My mom is an amazing cook. My grandmas both were amazing cooks. Um, I was always the one that took that up at home when my mom was working or. You know, she, she worked full time. She did her master's and her PhD full time when we were young. So I often did a lot of the cooking at home. My dad would kind of look at me and be like, so what's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a barbecuer, but not a cooker. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so I've always loved cooking. And I took a bit of time off from Algonquin. And when I did that, I realized that I'm most creative in the kitchen. And nice. I was happiest in the kitchen. Um, but what happens as a mom and just a busy person is cooking dinner becomes a chore. For sure, um, for sure. And so the joy from that changes into just, what can I make that makes the least amount of dishes that feeds my family? <laughs> it's true, right? It becomes, as you said, it, it's a chore, and then you don't get creative, right? Exactly. Because you're just, you know, there's so many things happening, when you, especially when your kids are younger. You know, I have two kids. I understand mm -hmm. what, what that's like, and you're trying to just get them, you know, fed and then maybe to an activity or exactly. to get their, their, their homework done. And, 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 and I don't know if you feel this way, Emily, but... And I, and I think it's changing, but I think we got to a point in North America, we started treating uh, food more like fuel. Like just, yeah. oh, I gotta eat because I have to eat and I don't and I don't care what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. You obviously don't feel that way, right? No, I think the tradition still of gathering at the table at the end of the day is really nice. Like when I grew up, I had that, whoever was home, you know, we weren't always all home, but right. we would sit together and have dinner at the end of the day. Um, we try and do that with our kids as well at the end of the day. So I think being able with our busy lives to come together over dinner is still a nice um, moment, even if it takes 10 minutes before the kids are off at activities or running right. around or jumping on the ceiling, <laughs> as yeah. it happens sometimes. Um, so I think that, uh, but just having those, you know, five, 10 minutes to just connect, to talk about your day um, is important. And so, uh, but then having picky children, Sometimes uh, mine tend to be a bit picky. Really, eh? Um, we would do some of the other options in Ottawa, but okay. they didn't have a kids' option. So what would happen is I would still be making food for them. Right. Um, it would be simpler, of course. Yeah. So one of the ideas with family tables is we have children's options. So you can get your family meal, and then you can add on the kids' options if you have a pickier eater. We try and keep them yeah. a little bit, you know, tied in. So if we do a taco dinner, theirs would have. Um, they'd have a smaller portion to yours, and they probably wouldn't have the salsa and some of the other spicier uh, yeah, sides, okay. the coleslaw, yeah, you know, sense. theirs would be a little bit easier. Right. Um, or a little simpler. Uh, but that was kind of where Family Table came in, because no one was really doing that at the time. I and mean, we have amazing meal prep companies in Ottawa. For sure. No yeah, question. Absolutely. But no one was really kind of targeting um, the kids and trying to make that life a little bit easier. Um, <laughs> Instead of the, the fight that can that, that can happen, right? Totally. Or, or yeah. even like the outright lies. Like I, I never forget my sister growing up, it, you know, if something came in front of her that she didn't like, she would say, oh, mom, I can't eat that. I'm allergic. And oh, like, yes. you're not allergic. Yeah. Like I'm your parent. I know, right? <laughs> um, let's do a little show and tell. I mean, okay. We just were rolling through some great photos of some of, the, some of the meals that you offer, but tell me what you brought along with you here today. Sure. So one of the things we do at Family Table are freezer meals as well. So I brought a couple examples. We do family size ones, which would be this one. This is a chickpea curry. Looks so good. Um, and then we do individual sizes. Okay. And then we do a small kind of in, in between that would feed two to three people. Um, we do find we have a lot of people who need the individual sizes who are, 
you know, on their own or a lot of times a parent travels. Yeah, so they might absolutely. do an individual yeah. size and their child might do, a, you know, an individual or size. Or bringing, bringing something for lunch, right, to the office, yeah. right? That's oh, exactly. something I struggle with all the time. And then, you know, I, I get to the office, realize I don't have anything. And then you're, you're buying something mm -hmm. that's, uh, you know, more expensive than what, you know, you, you were preparing or what I could prepare at, yeah. at, at home. Um, so we have this. What is this here? This one, so is this, that asparagus and it kale? Is, it is an asparagus okay. salad. So next week, we, we partner, um, all of our meat is from Farm to Fork. And Farm oh, to Fork is okay. another local. Um, yeah. company and so their owner Derek and I partner up in a lot of um, kind of fun meals so this is our maple inspired chicken dinner so maple season's upon us in Ottawa so uh, roast chicken with a maple butter glaze oh you have your asparagus salad with some fresh lemon um, focaccia rosemary focaccia sweet potatoes and then we have um, maple brownie bites oh my which are really decadent <laughs> I, I did sample them. I, I saw how all of a sudden that glean in your <laughs> yeah, eye came yeah, when you were talking good. about that. Um, but and this is a, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, everything's made fresh. So we make everything fresh. All of our sauces are made fresh um, in-house. So Is it subscription-based? How, how does you it work do exactly? So okay. you can have okay. a subscription that just repeats every week, or you can order as you need the food. Nice. That happens too, right? Um, you also offer different services as well, right? You offer uh, catering services? Yeah, we do Tell catering. So we do catering, um, corporate catering, private catering catering we also do schools daycares camps um, and our you know what we try and do is again just make um, everyone's event really special right. so it's about bringing them together over food but all of our food is really accessible it's um, we try and uh, build the menus for our clients so we do have some that we kind of we repeat so we do a potato bar okay. we do taco bars oh, hamburger cool bars idea. that kind of fun interactive food yeah, yeah. Um, we do often have a lot of families who we cater for so that's always kind of a nice option because it serves everybody we'll do vegetarian options vegan gluten-free those things we're very familiar with and we're easy to adapt especially with the daycares we're yeah uh, for sure you got to be careful we're right be careful, dietary yeah. restrictions and, and that leads us we're also a nut-free kitchen okay um, important to know which is yeah, yeah which is nice because we do have a lot of people in the area who do have nut allergies and it's just a little nerve-wracking my son used to have sure. anaphylactic allergies so uh, i understand you give yeah. back to the community as well something else you're, you're passionate about how, how do you go about doing that so we give uh two percent of our every sale um, back to different community groups in Ottawa, food bank, the school breakfast programs. And then we also partner up, so we recently did a dinner and uh, a pizza dinner. We partnered up with Nona's Pizza. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. and we did one on site. So we do have a private dining room on site that we do private events for. And uh, for the Dalhousie Food Cupboard, which is a food cupboard in our neighborhood. We're in, on Preston. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, great. Which is really wow, nice. great area. Great area. You guys must yep. love, I mean, especially now that construction is done. Mostly. Completely. Well, yeah, mostly. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's yeah. not but completely. It is, it's a really nice spot. We've been there for six months, just over six months now. So we're just kind of really gearing up to open a space there Fantastic. Um, for pickup and everything. Um, how often do your menus change? Like, should people go on sort of on a weekly, daily basis to see yeah. what's available? Every week they change. We okay. try not to repeat. Um, too much and we or we put a different spin on it so our menus become available on um, Monday evenings all right and that's for ordering for the following week fantastic yeah well I was I mean what you offer is is amazing on any any okay. given week I've you know I, I knew you were coming up on the show so I think I even sent you a note and mentioned to you that I had been on the website so we yeah. just brought up the website family you can find out all the information on there we'll be back with more daytime right after this